Whoa. It's so weird. Pete, what are you looking at? Um, the Orville Dam. Spillway. Yeah, that's right, the Orville Spillway. It's amazing. Isn't that something? Yeah. yeah. coming from right there. Yeah, it's all caused by the spillway. Yep. You see Pete? Rainbow. Where? It's right there. Is it? Yeah, if you look at the can you see it? Ah, my glasses are polar. It's down there. Oh, oh I can barely see it in the grass. Yeah. Oh, it's really blowing. It's Sunday, April 7th, and I'm doing my inaugural tour of the Orville Dam. Come here and say hi, kids. <laughs> And what's happening today is the Oroville Spillway is being opened up to 20 to 25,000 CFS in a high-speed test of the water flow here today. They went ahead and shut down the Hyatt Power Plant and decided to run all the water through the spillway so that they can keep the sum total water about the same going into the Feather River and not jerking around the water level of the Feather River too much and at the same time get some high-speed testing done on this spillway. And it's impressive. It is blowing water, a mist of water all the way across Orville Dam Boulevard. And it's become <laughs> the Butte County number one tourist attraction is to come down here on Orville uh, Dam Boulevard and see the spillway yourself from the base of it. It's all open. Unless they open this spillway up to 30,000 CFS, then they'll close the road and you can't come down to see the spillway at the very base of it. Below 30,000, they're letting folks in and checking it out, and there's a lot of folks down there checking it out. And it's impressive. So I'm gonna put together some other footage from the DWR and give you a recap, a recap, <laughs> watch it Julianne, of the whole reopening of the Orville Spillway. Yeah, that tripod.
Carl, thanks everybody for watching and especially the family. Thanks guys. <laughs> See you here. <laughs>